Listen to Boatner from earlier this week in an interview on Fox, We Want Tax Reform. It's critically important for our country. We've got a tax system that no one understands. Not even the IRS understands, he said. If we had a flatter, simpler tax code that would allow 95% of the American people to do their own taxes, we'd have a much healthier economy. Of course, the trouble with actually reforming the tax code is the sheer breadth and scope of the problem. Fixing the code will require buy-in from both parties. Various groups and Wellhill K Street lobbyists will push to protect their respective interests. In other words, there is a lot of political muscle that opponents can deploy against tax reform. And that's what makes it the Herculean challenge. It's hard to do tax reform without the active involvement of the administration, criticized Boner during his Fox interview. There is, however, a possibly unique parliamentary option lingering that could smooth some rough roads if Republican leaders select to tackle tax reform this year. It's called budget reconciliation. Members from both bodies will soon vote to lend separate budgets crafted by the House and Senate. Reconciliation is a special process that lives in a congressional budget bailiwick. Congressional leaders sometimes use budget reconciliation to advance major, nettlesome issues. The quintessential rights of senators are unlimited debate and an unlimited amendment process. But budget reconciliation quashes that. It curbs debate, virtually eliminates Senate filibusters and reduces the threshold to adopt almost anything to a simple majority. It sets aside the supermajorities that often derail the Senate's legislative aspirations. Remember when Democrats ran the show on Capitol Hill and struggled to approve Obamacare? Guess how they ultimately did it? They used the Senate's budget reconciliation process. Congressional leaders haven't quite put the kai but shown tucking an option to do tax reform into the pending, final version of the budget, called reconciliation instructions. But it's possible. I think we'd like to have a little more flexibility when it comes to what we use reconciliation for, said Bo Nerd when asked whether congressional negotiators would leave the door open for tax reform via reconciliation. Boner refused to elaborate on what he meant by flexibility, whether he was referring to tax reform, repealing the Affordable Care Act ACA or something else. Flexibility, Boner reiterated when asked for clarification, drawing laughter. House Majority Leader Kerry McCarthy also kept it vague when asked for more detail of the GOP's reconciliation goals, during a weekly colloquy on the floor with Minority Whip Representative Stanley Hoyer, DMD, about the House schedule. But McCarthy did go a little further than Bo Nerd when he huddled with reporters. I want as much flexibility as possible, said the California Republican when asked about the GOP's approach. But then McCarthy got specific, perhaps even tipping his hand a bit. I would like to have the option to do more than repeal the ACA, McCarthy said when speaking about reconciliation. I look forward to getting tax reform done. The last time, they used reconciliation. For his part, Ryan's not committed to reconciliation, saying at a wintertime gathering with reporters, I don't know if we'll use reconciliation and we probably don't need to. But Hatch was skeptical reconciliation was on the table this round for tax reform. I'm not opposed, Hatch said. But there are enough things we have to work through. However, Hatch indicated he willing to use the reconciliation maneuver if leaders indicated that a tax reform plan was ripe. That said, the relative New optimism for wrestling with seemingly intractable issues is gripping Washington. Such was the case when Republicans and Democrats came together to work out a bipartisan deal on the so-called doc fix. That's the expensive and controversial proposition in the Medicare system. The pact staved off what could have been a public health and actuarial nightmare. This tells me there's a formula there for getting things done, and maybe tax reform. Bryant said shortly after the House adopted the doc fix replacement in late March. It was a good opportunity to work with Ms. Pelosi in a bipartisan way to do the right thing for the country, said Boatner, speaking about House Minority Leader Rep. Nancy Pelosi, D. California. The windows never closed. And so congressional observers are watching the budget to see what sort of options for reconciliation wind up in the final package. Will there be the possibility of a big, fat, fast fall? Group right down the middle of the plate for tax reform? Or will lawmakers revert to the Rembrandt status of Kershaw and Cueto, merely painting the corners?